guys, welcome back to my channel POD with Kawa. And in this video, I'm going to review 5 Zazzle shops submitted by our subscribers. I'll review and give tips and suggestions to improve your shop. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. I received a lot of submissions, so it was not possible to cover every shop in one video. But don't worry, I'll definitely review every shop in upcoming videos. But before we start this video, there are a few things you should keep in mind while watching this video. First of all, I'm not an expert, so I'll review your shop as a customer, and I'll give you suggestions and tips based on my experience on Zazzle. You can take my tips as a space for improvement. Take my suggestions like a grain of salt. I'll review shops based on three criteria, which are shop outlook, for example how the shop looks like, banner, profile picture etc, then designs and products and lastly tags and titles. And based on these criteria I'll give tips and suggestions to improve the shop. You guys can check if you are also making the same mistakes and check how you can correct them. Now let's start with our first shop. First, we are going to review the King 2023 shop. Alright guys. So here we are on the shop's homepage and the first thing we see is the banner and the profile picture. Here you can see that the profile picture doesn't tell us anything about the shop and doesn't look good at all. You can use Canva or other free logo maker websites to create a better one for you. A profile picture should give customers an idea about your shop like funny or cute. Now if we see the banner again, it tells nothing about the shop. Your banner picture must have four to five pictures of your products and should represent the overall theme of your shop. You can check other best sellers' profiles to get the idea. Now let's move on to the bio of the shop. Here, you can see it says that this shop sells funny and witty designs. However, the owner has also added terms like best material, high quality and long lasting, which is not necessary. Instead you can add something about yourself like why you like making designs, what motivates you, etc. As everyone knows, Zazzle is a print-on-demand website, so use personal stories to connect with the customers instead of writing things about the quality of products. Now let's move on to the design and product review. The first thing I noticed is that there are no categories. Making categories make your shop look appealing and organized. Also, categories make it your customers to find similar designs on your shop, so you should try making some categories. The next thing we see is that the owner is making shirts, pillows, notebooks, which don't look good together. I'll recommend you to open different stores for different types of products. Zazzle allows sellers to open multiple storefronts from one single shop, making it easy to manage many stores. If we scroll down, we can see that the seller has made a few collections, but these collections have only a few designs with blank spaces, which makes your shop look incomplete and unprofessional. I'll recommend you to make a collection only when you have 10 to 15 designs to put in it. Also, it is mentioned in the bio that the shop sells funny designs. However, I don't think that these designs look funny. So if the customer checks your design after reading your bio, they will not find what they expected. For example, this design is too small in size. And this design here has the wrong color combination and fonts, as it is a design for coffee niche. But colors and font don't go with the coffee niche. Also, the titles are way too simple. Add some good keywords like motivation for this design. First search for good keywords and add them to your designs to rank higher. And there are only two tags, which are not relevant to the design. Adding good tags is most important as customers will find your design through them. We can use Etsy or Redbubble tag tools for Zazzle also. My suggestions for designs would be to first search what is trending and then see how other people are creating those designs and then create your own rather than creating anything. And removing background properly when needed is also very important. Here are some tips you can use to improve your shop and make some sales. Now let's move on to our next shop review. We are going to review Marina Rassel Zada's shop family first. Let's get started. So, we are on the home page of the family first shop, and again, the first thing we notice is the logo and the banner. I think the logo is pretty great, but it would have been better if it wasn't less playful as the name suggests to families, which should be in a friendly theme. And the logo should not include long text like more than two or three words. You can also create a logo easily using pre-made Canva templates. And now if we talk about the banner, 
I think the banner is amazing, but because of so many designs, it looks busy. So, I'll suggest you to use fewer designs and use text to introduce your shop. Moving forward to the bio, it's pretty good, has a good shop introduction and good keywords of the family niche. So, I don't see any issues here. And if we scroll down, we can see that the shop has many categories with very informative thumbnails, which is great. However, using products on thumbnails is better to look visually appealing. The shop also has many great looking collections with enough products, so no issues here either. Okay, so let's talk about your designs. You have used AI art, so it looks, but I would suggest you to not just upload AI art, you can add some text or other elements also to make it more relevant like some saying or quote. You added mock-ups, which is great. You have so many designs, but I can see that most of them are random designs. You need to research first what people are buying or what is trending. You have designs on different topics which are good however. I think you need to focus on one niche at a time. You added the personalize option for your buyer. That is good and very important if you are selling on Zazzle. The title has different types of keywords which for sure help you to come up in search results. I will suggest you to add more long tail keywords to your title. For example, gift for best dad and mom gift for grandparents custom gift. And as for the tags, you are using good tags. However, Zazzle itself suggests us to use long tail tags as Zazzle pushes these tags more. So increasing your chances of sales. So my tips for you will be to do market research before you create designs. Next, you should use long tail keywords and tags. Lastly, you can promote your products on social media if you are not already, like on Pinterest and Instagram as your designs look great. You can watch my video on how to promote your products on Pinterest. Now let's move on to our next shop. We are going to review Stylish Ideas Shop. Let's get started. Here, the profile logo is very good. It has a good color combination and great font. However, it seems like the logo picture is used again for the banner, like I mentioned before. Try to showcase your designs and products on your banner with some text to introduce your shop. The shop bio is also good as it has enough keywords which will help with ranking and search results. Now when we scroll down, we see a lot of plain colors. Why are you uploading plain colors? It will only make your shop look dull. Most of your recent products are like this, and that is not good at all. However, you have some really decent looking collections with a lot of items and that is great. It's also very good that you are focusing on patterns and you keep this up. If you want to upload other things also, then you can just open another store. However, most of them are pretty common and they include either one or two elements only. I would suggest you to go for some complex ones also like floral patterns and for other events like birthday parties with different themes like dinosaurs or space, you can observe other sellers also. And if you guys don't know how to create or where to find the best assets for your design, then you can just simply visit Creative Fabrica. You can find everything you need to create a great design, also at a very great price. And many of them are even free to download. Now let's get back to the shop review. As for the title, it's pretty good but I would suggest you add more low competition and high search volume keywords to your title, like boho aesthetic, orange flower, shower curtain. Now if we check the tags, I can see that they are very repetitive. Like you used orange many times, fruit many times and patterns many times. Also, you should try to avoid repeating the same words on different tags. Try to use long tail keywords and add as many different tags as you can. My tips would be to upload more designs for home decor as your shop is already focusing on it. Then you can find inspiration from Pinterest to create more appealing designs. Lastly, use long tail and different keywords in your tags and titles. Now let's move forward with our next shop review. Now, we are going to review Alba Bachelorette Shop. Here the logo is very minimal and is wasting a lot of space. You should try to add some mood to your logo and add your brand color. Overall it's not that bad. You can still improve. As for the banner, I can see that a lot of sellers make this mistake. Try to show your designs and products on the banner. It will show people what to expect. Bio is great. However, you can add more keywords related to your niche. The next thing is that you are focusing on bachelorette theme, but you don't have good collections for that. Try to use better mock-ups for your collections and create designs related to your niche. And as for your designs, you have to work on them. 
The first thing is that you have enabled the edit option. Instead, give customers personalized options because most of your designs have only one or two elements and no editable text. So what will they edit? And even though some designs do have personalized options, they don't have any text or elements they can replace their own name or term with. So I'll suggest you to create products with elements and text that can be personalized. Another issue is that you've put different niches in one collection. For example, here you can see that first three are skull-based designs, but the fourth one is witch-based. Don't put different niches under one collection. I'll suggest you to make separate collections for different niches. Witch and skull are separate niches. You can create different collections as your designs are decent. My and as for the title, I'm sorry, but I can't understand the title as the language is different. However, if we look at the tags, you have very broad keywords for tags. Instead, use long tail keywords which will absolutely help you in ranking higher in search results. Tips for you are, first of all, create proper personalized products, add name text and other customizable terms, create separate collections for different niches, and lastly, I'll really suggest you to change your name, as your name has bachelorette word, which is limiting you to only one niche. Now let's move on to our last shop review of this video. Let's review Angel's Modern Expression Shop. My first advice is pretty simple you need to add a shop logo. And the banner is good, but it can be improved. Just show some products on the banner. You really need to work on your graphic designing skills. You can watch graphic design tutorials on YouTube. And you can also watch my video on how to create customizable designs to create personalized products. The next thing you can do is to add covers to your collections. And I can also see that you have two different collections for Christmas, which is not necessary. You can keep all your Christmas designs in one place, making it easier for customers to find all of your designs at one place. And I think you should not upload these kinds of designs, as it will only make your shop look unappealing. I see you use AI pictures, but you should always double check it before uploading, as here this bread has to mouths. You can also use ChatGPT for prompts to create AI pictures. Next, you have to add good covers for your categories. Current ones are not very appealing. You can check how others are making their covers and then create similar covers or get inspiration from them. It's very important to understand that you should add relevant and searchable titles. Here you only wrote broad keywords like golden retrievers. You should consider who the customer is. I would write golden retrievers owner gift for dog lovers. As for the tags, here also, you used very broad search terms like pet. You can add dog owner or golden retrievers owner. You should niche down your tags. This will help you in ranking. The first tip for you is that you need to work on your shop outlook. Add covers, thumbnails and mockups, etc. The next thing is that you need to work on your graphic design skills. Lastly, don't upload randomly. First do niche research and then create designs based on what is trending or selling. Well, that's all for this video. Do you guys make any of these mistakes? Please let me know in the comments section. And also let me know if you guys have any questions or suggestions. Please like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any upcoming useful videos. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Stay creative and stay awesome.